we begin with India. The third and last phase of assembly elections is underway in Jammu and Kashmir. The voter turnout as of 9 a.m. stands at 11.6 percent. Security has been heightened in the valley amid the polls, especially in the region close to the international border. Areas like Baramula, Kapwara, Bandipura, Katua and Udhampur are close to line of control and international border where polling is underway amid tight security. 29 polling stations are situated near the line of control. Voting is taking place from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. local time in 16 constituencies in Kashmir Division and 24 constituencies in Jammu Division. Over 20,000 polling staff were mobilized on Monday across seven districts of Jammu and Kashmir. The Election Commission of India set up 5,060 polling stations with 240 special polling booths. Among these are the pink polling stations managed by women, stations designed for individuals with disabilities, and those run by youth. Additionally, there are 45 green polling stations aimed at promoting environmental awareness. In this phase, nearly 3.9 million voters will decide the electoral fate of 415 candidates, including two former deputy chief ministers, Tara Chand and Muzaffar Bey. Prominent candidates in the last phase of assembly elections are Sajad Ghani Lone of People's Conference, Raban Bhalla and Tara Chand from Congress. and Muzaffar Hussain Beg fighting as an independent. Polling is on for the third and the last phase of assembly polls in Jammu and Kashmir. We are right now in Baramula district. We have seen since morning in the Bandipora district there are huge queues of uh, men. But this time what we are seeing in Baramula is a large, huge participation of women in the assembly polls, in the elections. As we can see, women voters finally coming out in big numbers now at every polling booth in northern part of Kashmir. Security still remains one of the major concerns for the security agencies as Baramula, Bandipura, Kupwara are uh, districts which are very close to the line of control and international border and uh, due to that uh, some of the polling stations have been called critical polling stations where we have seen a three-tier security system in place but what is interesting this time is that in the first two phases also we saw huge participation of women in the election process and this time also in every polling stations that we have uh, gone to we have seen women coming out in big numbers. If you talk about the main ca candidates in this uh, 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 area as the Patan constituency, it is National Conference's candidate Riaz Bedar versus the PC's uh, candidate who will be in a tough fight with each other. But what is most important is the people's participation and we've seen since morning from Baramula to Bandipura to Kupwara, everywhere people coming to polling booths in big numbers with video journalist Feroz Idris Sloan for Vion World as One.